Tie-dye with jacquard. First, let's go over what comes in the jacquard jewel tones tie-dye kit. You get rubber bands to tie your shirt, a pair of gloves to prevent dye from staining your hands, two applicator bottles that have two different colors of pre-measured dye, and a package of soda ash. We can start with prepping our t-shirts with the soda ash. This helps to ensure the colors come out bright and vibrant. It is also important to try to use 100% natural fiber t-shirts, otherwise the dye may come out faded. You'll need to fill a bucket with two gallons of warm tap water. Add the packet of soda ash and stir until it is dissolved. Soak your shirts in the soda ash mixture for about 20 minutes. Next, let's prep our dye while the shirts are soaking. Grab the two applicator bottles with a pre-measured dye. Fill the bottles with warm water to about half an inch from the top. There is a line designating this on the bottle. Cap the bottles and shake thoroughly to mix. After 20 minutes of soaking, wring out the shirts, soaking in the soda ash mixture by hand. Do not rinse out. Now for the fun part. Time to decide which tie-dye pattern you would like to create. In this video, we go over spiral, scrunch, and accordion patterns. For a spiral pattern, lay your shirt out flat and pick where you would like the center of the spiral to be. Pinch a little fabric and twist the shirt. Continue to twist until your entire shirt is in a spiral. Use the rubber bands to hold the shirt together in the spiral shape. Select the main color you would like to feature and apply the dye to the shirt in a triangle shape out from the center. Leave some sections untouched for the other colors you would like to add. You can apply more dye if you wish your shirt to be fully covered, or less dye if you would like more areas to be white. You will want to push the tip of the bottle into the open folds of the shirt to get dye into all the areas. Apply the accent colors next to the main color, making smaller triangles or lines. Once done applying the dye, wrap the shirt up in plastic or a plastic bag and set aside. For the scrunch pattern, lay your shirt flat and scrunch the shirt together, pushing it into a loose ball. Use the rubber bands to help hold the shirt in a loose ball shape. Apply the dye at random, pushing the bottle into the center to get dye all over the shirt. The more dye you apply, the more fully covered the shirt will be. The less dye you use, the more white will show through. You can use one or multiple colors. Once done applying the dye, wrap the shirt up in plastic and set aside. For the accordion pattern, fold the shirt back and forth. You can fold at an angle, vertically, or horizontally, depending on which direction you would like the pattern to be. Use rubber bands to wrap the shirt and hold the folds in place.
You can apply the dye around the rubber bands, at random, or in stripes. There are endless possibilities. For this one, we applied multiple colors along the rubber bands to create stripes. Once done applying the dye, wrap the shirt up in plastic and set aside. Now you will want to leave the shirts wrapped in plastic for 12 to 24 hours. Unwrap your shirt and rinse it out. Be mindful that a lot of dye will rinse out at this stage. Throw it in the washer. Only include other shirts that you are tie dyeing, otherwise you might get dye on your other clothes. Once done washing, hang it up to dry and you're done. Thanks for watching. Hope this was informative and encourages you to be creative. We'd love to see your creations. You can tag us on social media or shoot us an email showing us what you've made.